Green is great. Green is good. Green is the plate when we eating good. Green is grass. Green is cash. Green is life. Green is growth. But most of all, green is go. So with that being said, let's chop it up and let's get this green up. What it do, what it do. How you feeling tonight? I'd like to, you know, get a little intro on it. To me, it's a very, very special intro. I say that a lot, but I for real mean it. It's an honor and a privilege to have you in the, in the green room. And right now, we got the exclusive interview with Be Someone. Houston artist, uh, uh, inspirer, uh, just an all-around icon for Houston. A lot of people might not know you, you know what I'm saying? My, a lot of people might know you more so your work, but this is special because you've done a lot for the city and for people who, who are not from the city and they come, and you're an icon. You, you've got a landmark in Houston. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. <clears throat> I appreciate you. All right, so first of all, you know, I just want to start from the beginning, give people to kind of understand and know you. Where are you from? You from Houston? Born in Houston? No, I'm not born in Houston. Okay, okay, that's interesting. I'm born in California. Okay, okay. But uh, Something told me you was going to say Cali too. Yeah, I got brought over here early on. Okay. I, I, got, I started 8th grade here. Oh, okay, okay. So, I've been... Okay. What part of Cali are you from? Uh, San Bernardino. Okay, that's like 2 hours from L.A.? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, about an hour to okay. LA. South of L.A.? South of L.A., East, West? South. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was it before we get into the Houston life? What was it like for you in LA? Uh, I mean, Cali. Yeah. Or uh, well, San Bernardino. Uh, just hood shit. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just uh, rolling around with people and throwing colors and flags and. Okay. A lot just, of gang banging. Just gang banging, tagging. I wasn't into gang banging, but I was part of like crews and stuff like that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that word that you say, crew, because like. I was telling some people earlier this week about just with the whole hip hop culture, the urban culture, the street culture. A lot of times I see everybody put emphasis on who's the best, who's the number one guy, who's the richest, who's the top five rappers. They always try to like solo it. But I feel like with that whole urban culture, it's always been about the crew. Yeah, there's a lot of people that yeah. contribute to yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. the vision, you know, brands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before we get more into the Houston stuff, tell me maybe just a memory or something that that happened to you while you was in in San Bernardino that kind of led you into the to the tagging. Well, shit, that started from uh, my brother. You know, okay. he's Older always, yeah, he's been into graph. He goes by Ace, um, but he was always graphing, so uh, I picked it up pretty quickly because of him. You know, I thought that shit was tight. Right, yeah, for, sure. for sure. All right, and uh, you're Hispanic, Mexican. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. See, now look, don't think this sound crazy, but I've noticed from going to jail, just being in the urban street, Mexicans, not just Mexicans, but Hispanics, always have like a knack for like the tagging, the art, the <laughs> drawing, tattoos. Like when you go to jail, yeah. the top tattoo man in the pod is always like the <laughs> Mexican. Yeah, yeah. I'm mixed, but yeah, Mexican. Okay. Yeah. Me uh, Mexican and. Yeah, I mean, Hispanic. Okay, yeah, I got you. Now, I don't think I'm on yeah, the racial yeah, no, no, shit, no, no, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> what is it, though, about Hispanic culture that just is drawing so much into the arts? Man, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't really answer that just because that's uh, your perspective. True, true. Um, I see everybody, you know? Yeah, that's right. But, but I, mean, I mean, what I like, why I like it, it just allows me to keep creating. Straight up. Mm -hmm. Okay, straight up. Okay. All right, now coming into Houston about eighth grade, you moved to a south side, east side, west side. I'm, I moved into the Friendswood area. Okay, okay, yes. that's like going that's, toward Galveston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And what's some things did, when you first moved to Houston? Did you like it? Uh, hell no. Nah. No. Nah. I mean, <laughs> it was just different, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But as soon as uh, as soon as high school hit, that's when it was tight, you know. Yeah. Ninth grade hit, then yeah. I was like, man, this is different. Yeah, this is tight. I, a lot, I got open to a lot of opportunity, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, art class. Okay. Uh, I mean, good, good education. I mean, it's different, you know. Mm -hmm. That's one thing about about Houston and Texas in general that makes it a special place. Is a lot of opportunity here. Yeah, like everywhere you look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's safe to say, like in Houston, is where the tagging became serious. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was already tagged, but I really wanted to write. You know, I was out actually just like riding every night and just just going out and doing it you know mm -hmm. and that's the houston way riding and just doing just, that i was just yeah i was yeah, just hitting yeah. up with my boy and i just started tagging before i hit the bridge it was like a whole year of me just tagging different places different places yeah, yeah. 
what are some other than your 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 tag and your graffiti what are some some probably well-known houston graffiti tags that you that you like i mean i don't really have a like a set thing but there's a lot of dudes that I, that, that i saw growing up here okay. and especially like going to king's point okay and like uh just watching a lot of uh, dudes paint there you know uh, uh that was tight you know i grew up on a lot of folks okay. you know riding and painting just seeing it everywhere straight up straight mm -hmm. up and so just to remind anybody who's tuning in, you are be someone. Now I want to get I'm gonna get deeper into that. Be someone. Houston landmark is is said often by many websites, many magazines that is the most photographed Houston landmark ever. I heard I heard that. I, heard stuff like I, that. I can kind of believe it. Right. Yeah, because I mean, if you sit there and do some numbers, I mean, think about how many cars really pass through there. Mm -hmm. I mean, not everybody's gonna snap a picture, but yeah. you can only imagine how many cars actually pass by there, and then you can kind of take a, a guesstimation of how many photos there is. So, yeah, I could probably believe that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's and I, everybody who I know, including myself, has posted a a, a, a be someone photo on Instagram or something before. Yeah, so yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah, that's dope as an artist. It's like to have your shit out there and just, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it really is. At the end of the day, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for it. Yeah. But, you know, Houston has embraced it. You know, it's our shit now. <laughs> yeah, straight up, <laughs> straight up. Okay, so when? Okay, when exactly did that? Did you put that up? That be someone across the bridge on the location I-45, right outside downtown. Yeah, it's uh, it's September 2012. I think okay, it's the first yeah, 2012. Time Okay. I get it confused sometimes. 2011, 2012, but I think it was 2012. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I believe it was 12 also. Yeah. I remember when I first saw it. I mean, it's been eight years. <laughs> yeah. I was actually living around that area when I, and when I first seen, I was like, damn. Before I saw that, the one that was up before it was on the other side, going north. Like yours is going the south direction. Uh. Like remove hate. So remove hey actually did a his after me. after okay okay yeah okay. he actually emailed me telling me that he, I inspired him to do it the other side okay okay I heard before or I've researched and found out that remove hate was actually a very popular like crew art artist or whatever as far as in a tag world uh, I mean he, he he that was his name that's yeah. what he went by he went by remove mm. so he he said he wanted a match yeah. So, so you know to align it with what i was doing so mm -hmm. that's why he hit the spot with remove hate instead well, of just remove i got gotcha. you mm -hmm. so when when you're doing the tagging and you're doing the art and you're doing the graffiti and stuff like that you know what i'm saying is it like a rush kind of to do that like because it's kind of you do it at night oh uh, yeah definitely definitely yeah. there's always a drill in with it mm -hmm. uh my main thing is that i uh, i zone out mm -hmm. I zone out and I just go at it like yeah. it's just a moment of time where it's just frozen and it's, I'm just painting. Right, right, right. Yeah. Me personally, I've never seen, uh, like, I've never like. There's a lot of top graffiti around the city, mm -hmm. but I've never seen none of them being done in the act. I always just seen them done. I never seen them doing. So, which is live. It's like a yeah, like yeah, a, definitely. A night marauder kind I mean, of that's the whole point of like graph. You know, it, yeah. it has to be quick. Mm -hmm. It has to be as quick as possible. Yeah. Yeah. So, how long did it take you to do the be someone? Uh, the first one took the original one because you had to do it over and over. Yeah. Uh, so the first one took about an hour and a half, two mm -hmm. hours, and then when we did it bigger, it's yeah. twice as big now. Uh, that took like four hours, honestly. Yeah. That shit is crazy because that's kind of dangerous because it's right on the bridge. Yeah, it's just four hours, dude. Yeah. So we ain't talking about graph. That's a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some shit. That's some <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. I like that though. Okay. All right, now since 2012, you know the the brand be someone has kind of just taken off. Did you envision that happening? Yeah, uh, I mean, it, I didn't know where anything was gonna go, but um, I knew it was something cool that I, I thought it was cool, you know. Mm -hmm. And I had the brand and the clothing and the merch like right alongside, right when I was tagging. I just knew that it was gonna be. I, I wanted to have a, a clothing brand, you know. Mm -hmm. So no, I did not envision it taking off. No, I did not see the bridge getting as popular as it is now. Mm -hmm. But I know that I did it out of love, and I started it just because I thought that shit was tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Man, the way the way that the like that be someone, the way it's written, the letters and every the people got tattoos, everything. 
I'm a I'm a big Wu Tang fan. Okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I got the Wu Tang tattoo, all of that. They recently dropped their little saga. But the way that people gravitate to your brand, it reminds me a lot of that. Like that it's like the type of brand that people like deep deep like everybody takes it for whatever they want, yep. but they hold it true to themselves, you know what I'm saying? Man, honestly, that's a compliment to be able to be. Uh, compared to Wu Tang, uh, uh, yeah, honestly, Wu Tang is legendary. So yeah, you fuck with the Wu? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. You fuck with you good with me then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, yeah. That's dope, man. Thank yeah, you very much. For yeah, sure, man. Um, for sure. I think I think I think it has some truth to it, though. You know, mm -hmm. not just saying it that because it's B, but yeah, definitely the brand has taken it has its place by itself. Like it stands alone. Mm -hmm. Whether I'm here or not, it stands mm -hmm. alone. You know, and that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. What does it mean to you exactly? Like, because I know you have your own people take it for whatever they want. But yeah. what does be someone really mean to you? I mean, so like, year after year, it kind of changes and it gets refined and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. uh, at this point in life, right now, at the moment, it's it's literally just a. Uh, it's like I, I still want to I still want to put out the best I can, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a, like it's a progressive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a progressive, ongoing, and positive like mindset. Yeah, that sure. it is for me, you know, that's what the brand stands for me, that's what Beast One stands for me, you know, it's like, all right, oh, how can you be the best, how can you take it to the next level, when mm -hmm. are you going to take your next step, you know, it's just all, like, while enjoying life, you know, Straight at the up. same time, you know, so at this moment in, in, in life, like, I think, I think it's just, it's just a positive reminder, it's, it's a, it's a forward, progressive thinking, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, that's what it stands for me shit yeah, you know, we're taking it all the way yeah and that's perfect for houston texas yeah the city that's always growing yeah. always moving like so many people move here it's a melting pot for real oh uh, hell yeah it's stay uh, moving yeah i like to say be someone city right <laughs> <You> know, <they laughs> i got, like that i might got, start using that they got a lot of names to the h but you know yeah, i definitely sure. think that be someone city yeah know, for sure it stands too okay no okay now as uh as the brand grew from 2012 you, you. I remember you just said earlier a second ago that you always wanted to start a clothing line. Mm -hmm. You didn't. Did you think that be someone would be the name of the clothing line, but just some, or is it just manifested? Uh, it, yeah, pretty much manifested because I, I just knew that I wanted to put be someone everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it, it didn't matter where it was. So uh -huh. I was doing it in the clothing, and I was doing it on the walls, yeah. anything I could really. Uh -huh. And uh, I mean. Shit, now it's a clothing man. For sure, man. <laughs> I see you got the hat. I see you got the shirt, aka mask, looking like a landscaper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for this hat, how much do we get this hat? Uh, the hats run. Uh, this is like a new era one, so this is a personal. Okay. But uh, I do have some on there. They usually go for thirty to forty dollars. Just okay. depends on which which one it is. Okay. Um, as far as the t-shirts, uh, we have some exclusive stuff, and then mm -hmm. we have some like uh, just the average t-shirt, which is thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have pop sockets, uh, phone cases, you know, and then we have some like custom shit that we be doing. That's dope. Uh -huh. Now, the merch game to me, like, I'm gonna put I put everything in like one little kind of, you know, the music. I put ha hip hop, you know, street shit, activity, everything. Uh, I put all that in one, and I feel like anybody who tries to come up entertainment wise through that lane. Or come up just business wise through that lane I feel like merch is the one thing like that everybody should have everybody should have a brand but I think that merch is how you get your pocket right I mean you gotta back up your merch with your design yeah true you gotta back up your merch with uh, you know the feel of it like mm -hmm. yes merch is a big role in the brand you know but at the same time you can't have merch without a brand mm -hmm. so you gotta have your brand right before you got your merch yeah for sure but yeah it goes hand in hand yeah. but definitely it's an item it's a it's okay. definitely a lane that comes with entertainment yes straight up straight up and i think you got the upper hand in that brand because it's like so Harris County is like damn near 10 million people and everybody's seen that so it's like <laughs> you got that upper hand but that's yeah. good insight though you gotta you gotta have the design, the image. You can't just have. You gotta have yeah, everything. It has I mean, to be something that people can sink their teeth into. Yes, I printed my own stuff for six years. I do all the photography, the design work. You know, uh, so yeah, I 
I mean, there's, mm-hmm. there's a lot of importance when it comes to paying attention to what you're doing, pay attention to your details. You know, just understand that you're putting this out and people are going to judge it. Straight up. <laughs> you got to have, take pride in your shit. Yeah. Okay. Now, speaking on the brand and speaking how we spoke earlier, how everybody kind of takes it and makes it their own thing. Have you heard of Be Someone CrossFit? Uh, actually, I have. Okay. Are you involved with that? I'm not. Do you like when you see people starting businesses with your shit? Uh, I mean, yes and no. Like, I don't mind. There's a couple of people that, you know, that have used it. And um, the only thing is that I have an issue with be- CrossFit be someone is because we had talked a couple of numbers. Mm. And they kind of laughed at me with some percentages. Mm. And I'm like, dude, you're starting your whole gym Based on off of shit. something that I'm pushing. Right. How are you going to do that? Yeah. You know, they wanted me to go paint it. They wanted me to, you know, uh, they wanted me to go paint all their floors and everything. I'm like, all right, well, we're talking business, then let's handle it. Mm-hmm. But they do me some terrible percentage. Jump changes. I'm like, man, wait, I don't need you. Mm-hmm. You know, you're off basing your stuff off of what I'm pushing. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's the only thing about them. Yeah, you got a little downfall with them. Mm-hmm. For sure. With them in that situation, you still kind of keep in contact with them? or No, no, no. no. You just let them just go ahead. They're going to do their, but, you know, sooner or later, it's going to bite them in the butt. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got Your shit got to be solid, man. Mm-hmm. Always. The foundation got to be solid, man. Okay. Let's see. Also, uh, you recently had a pop-up shop. Yeah. What, this week? Early this week? I do a lot of pop-ups, yeah. Okay, okay. And where was this one you had last week? This one was this at... Week? This on uh, this past week, this past Saturday, we were at the arena. Okay. Uh, that's off of Shepherd and Washington Avenue. Okay. Right there. That's a good graffiti area. Uh, that's uh, they just opened that shop there. They got the walls painted on the yeah. side. Uh, so yeah, it, it, it looks good. It's, it's a dope shop. Yeah. For sure. You probably you do like you fuck with a lot of like smoke shops. Yeah, yeah. Um, shops. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, anybody that really shows me love, I, I'm I'm down to you know work. Mm-hmm. And we all know what fair is, so if as long as you're fair with me, then yeah, we gonna work. Straight up, you know, because we're here to work. We're here to do cool things. So mm-hmm. uh, people reach out to me all the time. So you yeah. know, I just go through it and figure shit out. For sure. And then the pop up shop, you, you sell stuff at the shop. I, I sell stuff at the shop. Everything. Yeah, it's stickers, usually, everything. Yeah, stickers and everything. Yeah, it's usually me and, and my boys. Okay. Uh, we got my bro, uh, be someone Ace. Mm-hmm. We got Ace that he be doing all the bleach stuff, the custom bleach stuff right now. So he's hitting there with that. That's some fire shit. And then uh, we also got my boy uh, DJ Zimmer. Okay. Uh, and he, he you know, he, we, we kind of pop up together and we kind of do things together. So, yeah. So, sure. you'll either see him. If, we're, if, if I'm not a pop up, you'll see him or my brother. Okay. Yeah. That's going back on that crew. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you make, have you ever tried to get into making music? Uh, I, yeah. 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 I, I like music, man. Uh, I've always wanted to create and, you know, it's yeah. going to take some time, but yeah. uh, we're going to get there. Okay. You, you rap? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I like to write. You got some bars? No, I don't have no bars, but, <laughs> but I like it, though. For sure. Yeah. Who's your favorite rapper of all time for you? Not even just saying who's best. For you. I mean, I don't have a favorite rapper, but I, I really like Houston's, um, the Houston genre. Straight up. I mean, I, I, I fuck with it. Like, I mean, I jam. Ever since my boy showed me in, you know, uh, freshman year, they started putting me on, you know, mm-hmm. on certain, uh, and this is when uh, Trey and Zero were hot at the time. And so he put me up on that, and then my whole iPod had a bunch of ABN on it. Mm-hmm. And Classic I, shit. Boy. Yeah, just guys here, Lil Kiki, mm-hmm. Paul Wall, you know, all the boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah I jumped to it. If it's used, I mean, I jumped to screw a lot, too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I be banging screw all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what gets you in the zone for when you're ready to do your thing? Does it depend on the mood or? Nah, I mean, shit. I did a lot of Houston shit, yeah. yeah I got you. I'm usually, but I, I'm down with anything, though. Like, yeah. I mean, I listen to country. I listen to opera. You know, I listen to rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. It kind of just depends on what mood I am, but I, I jam to a lot of shit, yeah. Man, what's up? Have you ever heard of a rapper? He's not from Houston, but have you ever heard of a rapper named MF Doom? Yeah, MF Doom, okay. yeah. And I thought about that because I'm sitting here looking at you with the yeah. mask and shit, and it yeah. gives me that. That vibe. I thought that was genius what MF Dam Doom did with the mask. Yeah, yeah. MF Doom is fucking tight. Tight as fuck. And um, I mean, it's really how unique he did his delivery is. Mm, you know? Yeah, definitely. So. Yeah, and I think he had a message behind, behind having the mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Er, earlier we talked, and uh, you was telling me about the mask, you know what I'm saying? What, just to share, what is it, why you keep the mask? Uh, I keep the mask on, you know, just so I don't have to be, you know, 
I like to be pretty private. I like to be chill. I, I'm just a regular dude, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, I just keep the mask on as far as like social media and the mm -hmm. internet and stuff like that. But if you come to El Papo, we chopping it up. Yeah. Okay, for sure. It makes sense. Um, and then I was thinking too, like, uh, uh, I think what, 6 21, no, July 21 is Be Someone Day. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. You got your own official day. <laughs> I mean, it's not my official day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's definitely Be Someone. It's a national holiday. That's dope. Uh, but it's yeah. not, yeah. But okay, since Be Someone has been landmarked so much, trademarked so much, like most of the time, well, obviously, because you're doing pops up, pop ups and stuff, you don't have no pressure or nothing like that. Because sometimes you tag up something and they on your ass. Yeah. <laughs> because your shit is special, you don't have to worry about that. Well, I mean, I've been in trouble already twice. For uh, that? For graffiti and then one time for the actual ridge. Wow. So, wow. um. Not yeah. to like get too in depth because I don't really like to talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll keep, we'll keep it quick. Uh, yeah, I've been in trouble. Uh, we did a case, me and my boy, and uh, we, we beat it. So, okay. you know, I'm here still designing, making yeah. cool shit. So That's, that's blessed. Mm -hmm. That's blessed. Okay. Oh, this is also back on some Houston shit, too. So, I don't know. This is what I always took from it. But this is in conjunction with the remove hate. So, when I'm coming from the north side. Mm -hmm. And I'm going toward downtown on 45. Mm -hmm. I see B someone, which was originally in dark blue, not darker, but like a royal blue. Yeah, it was a little, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going from the north to the south, B someone in blue. When I'm coming from the south to the north, remove hate and red. <laughs> so I don't know if you're familiar back in the day on yeah, school yeah, tapes. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. The north side right. The north side blue and then the south, south side, side red. red which yeah. is, I feel was ironic. And a lot of times, this is not how I feel, but a lot of times historically they say the north side is like the thug, hard, cold. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So be someone kind of kind of ties into that mentality to like, hey, a peaceful mind state. You know what I'm saying? Be somebody and that always just, you know what I'm saying? And then the South Side is known for high capping ass niggas, balling niggas, like the swangers and the Vogue players. Like, but I would say historically, not to like say any type of friction because I'm not on that type of time and that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. But historically, the South Side was kind of like, man, I don't go to the North Side if I ain't got no reason. You know what I'm saying? Kind of in a way, top down. So it's like, damn, I was like, before I got into research, I'm like, damn, is this what they really tell in the city? Did you ever, ever mm -hmm. notice that, think like that? Uh, no, I didn't think about it like that, but I mean, now that you're saying it, yeah. that's kind of, it's kind of funny, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's I think a little funny it. thing, yeah, yeah, it's a cool yeah. detail to, to think about. Yeah, I'm into art, man, and all that shit, I'm a thinker, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, but no, I did I actually, I just, I just ended up getting blue because it was the cheapest paint I could get <laughs> at Home Depot, so. For sure, for sure. <laughs> okay, so right now, it, from, it went from that original royal blue to like a light blue. Yeah. And that's not your doings. Somebody else did that or you did that? The blue? The light blue that they got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so between from the original 2012 blue to the light blue it is mm -hmm. now, it's been through so many changes. Once it was blacked out, once they put B football on there during the Super Bowl weekend, once, uh, what else did they do? Uh, uh, mattress Mag. Mattress Mag B1. B1. B1, B U, halfway finished. Mm -hmm. uh, they spilled some paint on it. They put some paint on it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's been through like seven, eight different yeah. changes. How many times you yourself had to had to actually like? Oh no, yeah, yeah, every time. Every time, so every you don't want to One time. Okay. There's some college students that. Yeah, I read about that. that. Yeah. Three college students, I believe, in uh, let's see what year it was. Last year, I think. Yeah. Yeah, uh, last year, yeah, yeah, last year, three college students from like the Clear Lake area. They felt so like that 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 art did so much for them that was it when it was blacked out. I believe it was when it was blacked out. They went over it. You know what I'm saying? So how how did you find out about that? You read about I mean, the, anything that happens, the sign comes to me. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and, uh, you find out pretty quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, you got a lot of. I guess I could say accolades on that, like uh, Houstonia Magazine yeah. highlighted you last year in May. Mm -hmm. Is it was it maybe May? I don't know what year, but that's a big magazine. Um, let's see what else. But it's just a lot of shit, man. That's like, it's on there. Yeah, this shit is that's some shit though. 
Okay, now, I also read too that before you did the original one, you had only really, really been taking it serious for like one year. Yeah, I have been. Yeah, yeah. I've been taking it for like a year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's that reminds me of like when a nigga get in the studio one time and drop a hit. And <laughs> that's 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 dope, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, now back more on my research. Can you give us the description of what a heaven spot is? I mean, heaven spot is just really basically a spot where it's a uh, it's highly visible. Mm -hmm. And uh, a difficult spot to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's gonna take some effort. You can't just just walk up to it and just start spraying. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's basically what a heaven spot is. I mean, there's uh, mine's the the bridge is not really a heaven spot, but it is. You mm -hmm. know, it kind of it's kind of like right in the middle, just because it's not as high as normal heaven spots are. Like you know, like three way mm -hmm. signs all the way up the yeah, top yeah, where yeah. they gotta climb up and yeah. stuff like that. You know. Mm -hmm. How long did it, did it take you to select? 45 by downtown as a heaven spot it just clicked you just seen it and it clicked or somebody told you or you just and hell yeah i mean i just looked at it and i said man that's a dope spot do you remember yeah. like what you was doing when when that happened I, mean, I was just with my boy uh these as emma you know mm -hmm. we're just dropping by and i had told him hey that's a dope spot you know we already i was already painting so i was i look at the at the city like a grid you know when it comes to graph so you're, mm -hmm. you're looking at spots you're looking at spaces it's more shapes and areas and man that was perfect i was like man that's gonna hold all the whole thing you know yeah 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 okay outside of houston who are some some dope graffiti artists we should look out for man there's so many bro <laughs> it's kind of hard just to pick out but man if maybe you, even inside if, bro you hop on instagram you're gonna find everybody mm -hmm. bro it's so bro houston has a lot of cores you know graph here you know there's some people hitting it hard um but it seems like we're the last always. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna be we a lot of, I ask a lot of people in these interviews, they say we're gonna be last to get that legalized weed. <laughs> so we I hope not, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure, for sure. Okay, um I see I I think graffiti is so fucking dope because I consider myself to be a real hip hop head. And then when I break it down to the elements originally like hip hop was mm -hmm. the the dancers, the breakers the MC, mm -hmm. the DJ, and the graffiti. It all comes in one. But over the years, you know what I'm saying, graffiti has kind of been separated from it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think graph has kind of always been its own thing. Like, yeah. it gets pulled into hip-hop, definitely. Okay. But it's I'm, I mean, I'm, I love hip-hop, too, and I, I like to include it as well. But yeah. uh, definitely, there's, there's a, there's, graffiti is so big, it could have its own, it can have its own like section mm -hmm. while being still added to yeah definitely to you know the hip hop elements but, and that goes for the same thing like DJ and dance you yeah. know what I'm saying I just I just think it's important for people to always continue to like attribute that to the essence of hip hop a yeah. lot of times the way music goes the pop the rap people kind of forget like you know what I'm saying like even if it's not graffiti the art, the visual aesthetic art in general. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, you know, I don't want that shit to be lost. Uh, definitely. I mean, I definitely think uh, it goes hand in hand. Like, the, I mean, usually if somebody, somebody MCs, they can, they have some hairstyles. You know, if if, if mm -hmm. they DJ, they dance. You know, they got some hairstyles. They got some markers. You know. So yeah, it definitely goes hand in hand. I, I, I'd like to agree. Okay. Have you um? Do you do tattoos? No, I don't. You don't do I tried. You try? Uh, my buddy bought a machine and he yeah. let me do. He let me try some on a fake skin. Okay. <laughs> so, Usually they say try on fruit or something. Yeah, they they say oranges, you know. But he had fake skin, so that's what we did it on. Okay. Have you ever? This is gonna be another crazy, but you know I like to ask yeah, shit. Yeah. I know people would like to hear. Have you ever? Let's say you've been in situation or something where you might have been like with a little female or something and. She might have brought that up and you like, hey, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely used that a couple of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, you kind of have to. It's a card you can play, you know, just play yeah. wisely. I know I will play that. <laughs> I'll play that one. Okay. Any any more pop-ups coming soon? Or uh, we don't know because they pop-ups? Yeah, I mean, that's pop-up. I mean, I usually try to promote it on my website or my Instagram. Um, and as soon as I know that I'm going to be somewhere, I usually... Mm -hmm. Try to you know let the public let everybody know everybody that's on my page or anybody's visiting my website. They'll probably see it. 
So be someone dot com. No, no, it's be someone co dot com. So you got to think about like be someone a company. Yeah. yeah be okay. someone co dot okay. com. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And we got posters. We got yeah. Uh, all that, man. I, all that, man. I've been trying to it. interview for a minute, so I I even talked to you about all the shit you got. Yeah. You got some decent prices too, though. Yeah. Um, so. <clears throat> So this the, the be someone brand. That's it for you. That's just, this is your occupation. Is it the one thing where you got a nine to five too? Uh or? yeah. I mean, so um, I just quit my quit my recent job. Uh, I'm actually I'm I'm pretty good with my hands. So I was a wash technician hmm. uh, for about three four years. Before hmm. that, I was just a sales associate. But uh, I worked uh, I worked in jewelry and watches. Okay, that's dope. So that was my that was my uh, full time job, and then yeah. of course every every other chance I got, yeah. you know, I put it into the brand, put it into what I'm doing. But I recently just switched jobs. Okay. Uh, now I'm a graphic designer. Okay. I, I do graphic design for uh, you know a, a freelance, and as well, I, I do a lot of stuff. I work with uh, uh, the Smoking Pot Coffee Shop okay. and the Up and Smoke Gallery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, as a watch technician, you ever seen some fake watches? Yeah, absolutely. Any rappers come up with fake watches? Uh, no, I mean, I, I'm sure there there are some rappers, but you can't just say, "Hey, are you a rapper?" Yeah, yeah. You know, you know I didn't never know if somebody famous might have came through with that ticket. No, I didn't. I didn't experience that, but definitely they brought a lot of fake Rolex in. <laughs> you say Rolex is probably the most bootleg watch? For sure, for sure. Probably, that's that's what they say. It's it's, it's a statistic that they put out there, and mm. you know, I believe it because there's a lot of submariners that they come in and mm. they think it's. It's legit, and they pay five four five hundred dollars, and it's, it's literally a waste of money because a replica is not worth that. That's what's up, man. <laughs> that's true. That's true, man. Yeah. So what else you got for the future set up, man? Something that you, we might not have touched on. Man, uh, I really, I really want to get a hold and get organized to put on my my show, put on a, a new art show. Okay. Um, that's kind of the thing that we're working on. Um, the newest things that we're working on right now is me and Ace. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a collaborations going on. They've been going on for the last three months, so it's it's been going good. Yeah, we're bringing out some fire, and uh, you know the reason we know that because people buy it, <laughs> yep. they support us, they sure. like it, they fuck with what we're doing, and that's all we want. You know, just people to have fun with what we're doing and and, and rock it and be happy about what they're doing. Okay, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you said you do graphic design, so that means you kind of do logos, things like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I do photography. I do logos. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, really anything that has to do with uh, visually being represented, either for a, a website, iPhone, anything like that, is kind of graphic design. But I mainly do a lot of like promo and logos. Yeah. Okay. I might, I might need your help on the <laughs> green room logo, man. Yeah, for sure. Straight for sure. Up. I'm, I'm, I'm in the market for a new one right now. Yeah, yeah, man. I think, uh, I think that's it for right now, though, man. You know. Uh, like I want to say, definitely, man. It's an honor and a privilege to have you. I'm, you're one of the, the the top. I got a list of people I wanted to interview. You're one of the ones that's at the top. Been trying to interview for a minute, so you know that's that's really dope to me. And just to buy what you talk to you as a person, feel what you're talking about, like is an even even greater respect. You know what I'm saying? So Thank I just you. want to say more power to you. Keep doing your thing. I respect it. Like like literally from the ground up, out the mud. That's what it. That's what it's all about. Like in so many different ways and shit like that. Would you be able to get in touch with Remove? Hey, or Remove? Yeah, you, I think I think you can. Yeah, you might have to help me I with think that. He has, yeah, we, we legit, I'm pretty sure. For sure. I either look at an old email, or I think you can find him on Instagram. Okay. All right. Um. Lastly, man, do you have any questions for me? No, that's cool, man. That's cool, man. Yeah, I think we covered everything. Yeah, we didn't cover it a lot. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So one more question just popped up in my head. Maybe like six, eight, nine, whatever months from now, I'd like to be able to interview you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely sure. keep that, like, keep it going and keep, you know what I'm saying, building. For sure. For sure, for man. Sure. So at the end of this, I would just like to remind you to always be someone, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for real, though. Yeah. Thank you, man.